this time, we want to call to order the special meeting of the Miami Board of Education. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Rice? Here. Mr. Reeves? Here. Mr. Nemish? Here. Mr. Nemish? Here. Mr. Haas? Here. Okay, uh, before we adopt the agenda, I want to make a, uh, a suggestion here on our board work session. If we could flip, uh, move the budget from A to B, move uh, the Hamilton Township Enterprise. From B to A, the reason to do that is once we get into the budget, I'm going to keep here for, we could be here a while. And uh, I appreciate that. so uh, uh, <coughs> I didn't think you'd want to listen to all the details and be inundated with uh, all kinds of numbers. But uh, uh, is anyone in objection to that? No. Okay. Yeah. Then I need a motion to ad adopt the agenda uh, as amended. So, Mr. Kameen. I'll second. Namish. Good job. And uh, okay, roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Kareens? Yes. Mr. Namish? Yes. Mr. Nick? Yes. Mr. Haas? Yes. Mr. Dice? Yes. Okay. <coughs> First order of business is our Hamilton Township Enterprise Zone. Um, <coughs> Bruce and I, uh, we uh, appreciate you being here tonight, Bruce, uh, because we, you and I talked on the phone. I think it was better if you're here and then you can answer any questions that anybody might have. Um, I think part of the uh, uh, issues that we had in the very beginning, uh, we were seeing different numbers. Uh, okay, I was going to say we got this. Terry, you want to walk us through this uh, spreadsheet that you have here? Sure. I know you and Greg, <coughs> and, uh, Bruce had talked last Friday, so maybe if the three of you could kind of bring everybody into the loop so we're on the same page. Yeah, um, this is actually one I received. Um, put this together, Bruce. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. to Martin Russell. <coughs> This one we received essentially from Bruce. Um, the highlighted yellow area is uh, the latest proposal. And what it is, it's based off of, um, the change in it mainly is based off a new valuation. Um, I believe, was Bruce, was your lender that had the outside appraiser come in and So, so what, here's what happened. If you uh, look at this top box up here on the left hand mm -hmm. side, this showed a uh, a, a value of $17 million. When Martin Russell did this, this was for illustrative purposes only. And Martin, I believe this is one of the first multifamily residential uh, projects that Warren County Economic Development's done. There's a couple others that are now <coughs> pending. And I think what happened was when Martin did this, he assumed that they would take the assessed value times the construction cost. And that's not how they do it. They, they base it on a income approach. And so when they re went back and looked at it on an income approach basis, the um, the total income for the project uh, is a little bit under a million dollars net income before interest and depreciation. And then in talking to Matt Nolan, Matt said, well, we use a, a cap rate of 10. And so when you do that, and then you take the 35% of that, it brings the overall tax number down to 300,000. As opposed to the 400,000, that was originally projected on this. And I get that that's a big number difference, but it, I, this was not a situation where anybody was trying to mislead anybody. It's just a situation where uh, the, um, the actual rate came out below what was estimated by uh, Martin's group. Where this became an issue was when Ray um, met with the, um, and, and I don't know if this happened with you, Greg, when Greg met with you that he said he wanted to nail these numbers down specifically? Uh, Rick, Terry and I, we had met with Ray uh, individually, uh, and there were some specific numbers that were there, I think with the valuation that based on the $17 million valuation. And so the pool was, I think, $402,000. And so all of those numbers flowed, flowed off of that. And the township wanted 102,000, and I think we had countered with 
a percentage that was 139,000 based off of that $17 million valuation. So, so what happened is Ray went back to the township trustees and he said, this was what we need to do. And he actually had them pass a resolution not based on, I, I believe his resolution is based on this, this model right here. I think it was a $17 million model. Yeah. Um, because they, they stayed at 102. Right. Um, which, which is. Right. 50%. They, they, they actually, yeah, they, they were 50 50 with yeah, the breakdown of the. So, so, so then what happened is Martin called me and said, you got to come up with what the firm number is going to be. And I said, okay. And so what I did is turn to the bank's appraiser that came up with the appraisal for this, because they're going to be the most objective in all this anyway, because they're third party and, and under all the new banking laws, you can't even talk to these guys. I've gone through that. So uh, he came back with a number that was actually below that 300,000 because he said there is a special adjustment that is made. Um, and uh, when I talked to Matt Nolan about that, Matt said, well, he's only partially right on that. There are certain counties in the state that do what he is saying, but in Warren County for Hamilton Township, they adjust all that within the rate. And so that's all taking into consideration when you look at the rate that Matt said is 0.06875. So this is the correct number. So can I interrupt? So the value, the original was 17 million. Mm -hmm. So is it, is it like, it's not that number? <coughs> no, the, no. The, the value is 13 million. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Is I, that on this sheet somewhere? That yeah. I don't no, see? you don't see the actual yeah. 13, but Terry okay. did the, the yellow okay. in the box is yeah. based off so of 13. Is that correct, Terry? Yeah. The appraisal, and then you take 35% of that is the tax. Well, it's actually, actually, yeah, I worked my way backwards on it. They pulled all the tax numbers on it for the collection. Okay. And I came up with 12,467,539. So it's about 12 and a half, which okay. generate that 300,000, um, okay. which you get. It's under 13. So these numbers are not subject to change, or these can also change, and now we can do a higher value. Well, and, and so that's what, by some change. He, he, here's what I was going to suggest, if you all would find this acceptable, and that is to say, look, make this the base, and then get the thing built, and have, you know, look at the income level after the thing gets stabilized, which is what the assessor's office is gonna do anyway, and then if, if the number ends up being higher than this, then whatever these percentages are, it just flows through. So that was the flow of what you were talking about. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. so why I recommended that email I sent to you guys was establishing a minimum, mm -hmm. a minimum amount that the school district receives right. payments. And mm -hmm. then if the valuation actually goes up, then we well, take our percentage of that market value right. went up. We wouldn't go any lower. So if it did come in under that, then we'd still be set at that floor. Right. So we, this would stay the same. And we collect that from year one. What's that? We collect that starting in year one. Right. Yeah. After well, after it's after the project's completed. Yeah. Project, after yeah. the project's yeah. completed. Yeah. Right. Because okay. <clears throat> then they'll have their, their full market value at that point or property value. So we will wait ten years to collect. Oh no, no, no. Okay. no. Okay. We start collecting, start collecting right off. Okay. And this collection is for ten years, and then after the end of ten year enterprise zones up, we get that. Correct. Then you yeah. then. Yeah. And what are we collecting the first year? Um, Approximately 102. 102. Okay. So that's the township. What are we collecting? No, that's us. No, that's us. That would be 68% oh, okay. of the 50% time. Yeah. Okay. okay, I see it. Right and so here. does the township then have also have to agree to pay $27,000 yes. or whatever yeah, less? Yes. $27,000 less. So I talked to Dave Wallace, and what Dave said um, is that he wanted me to come talk to you all. And I think, uh, and we've also talked to uh, Joe Hunter, the other trustee. Yes. Oh, the trustee. Joe Walker. Yeah. Joe Walker. Walker. Joe Walker. Hunter's the best <laughs> question. Yeah, Joe Walker, thank you. And um, I think where Dave's head is at with this, and, and of course he's not going to commit to anything until, but I think where his head's at with this is if you all are okay with it, they're going to be okay with it. 
I suggested to the board, and, and this is my recommendation in the, in the meeting, it, we look and we're looking around 12.5 market value or appraisal value, and you take 68.75% you know, of that, which is roughly that 300,000, 68% of that 300,000 would go to the district normally, um, if it was you know, without abated uh, abatement, um, which would be about 204,000 a year based on that. And I was recommending we, we you know, try to work on where we can set the floor at roughly 75% of that 204,000, which would be 150, 150,000. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully it'll come in higher, but I would set us at least at that level. Um, but we know. So wait, 75% set us at the... Well, 75% of the, uh, of our share. Of our share. So the district share would have been 68% of the 300,000, mm -hmm. and that would have been 204, and then 75% of the 204, okay. which is the 150. Set a minimum floor for the district then that one is it's the mm -hmm. ability for budgeting and so on that we know some revenue will be coming in. Mm -hmm. And then if the township wants to do the up, however, you know, whatever's left, I don't dare. I mean, it, right, right now at the moment they're doing fine because they roughly collect 14% um, on this, which would be like, I think, what, 40 some grand. And they're originally here at 75. Now, if we go to 153, that's going to be offset. Right, it's going to be offset. So, right. where'd they go for that? Well, it doesn't have to really come from the township either. It can, it can come from the developer's pool too, which I think that's what the township would. Talking about last time, when they were we were up our mouth at 139. I mean, the township still wanted 102 at that point. So here, here's the other part of this. So when the TIF, we were originally suggesting a TIF, and when we were going to do the TIF, we were going to monetize the TIF through a bond. Mm -hmm. And so when that didn't materialize, obviously we can't do that. So now what we have to do to get Warren County Community Services this space is wrap that into the um, uh, financing for the overall project. Mm -hmm. That cost is still $2 million. So from, from our standpoint as the developer, the, the original proposal was we were going to take the $2 million out of the TIF and we were doing sidewalks and there was a bunch of other stuff if you remember. And now what this is saying, this is saying, is that we are now going to underwrite ourselves the, 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 the difference between the million 150 and the two million bucks. So we're coming out of pocket $850,000. And so to the extent that this number changes again, uh, my sense from, from Ray is that I would get real pushback in terms of changing these numbers. Um, and, and, and I guess here, here is something else for you all to consider in this whole process. Right now, I believe your cost to educate is about 8,000 a student. If, 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 and, and I don't know if any of you have been down uh, by the project, but they've, they've broken ground um, and, and we've had to do this because of the tax credits that we've been awarded. We have to deliver those tax credits by the end of next year. And when you, when you say deliver, what you have to do is have a certificate of occupancy. Um, I was explaining to um, uh, your constituents today, uh, this week that when uh, the election results came in, uh, obviously the tax credit world was really rocked because everyone uh, didn't really quite expect the result we got. And so what ended up happening is the, um, uh, everyone, the, 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 the tax credit world believes right now that you're going to see <coughs> about a 20% drop, 25% drop in income tax rates for corporations. And so the need for these federal tax credits has greatly diminished, and the market is actually just frozen right now. There's no transactions being done in the market today for deals that had not been inked before the election. <clears throat> Fortunately, our deal was inked before the election. We closed on part of the deal, but we haven't closed on the whole deal. So we're under a real time constraint to try to get this deal closed before year end in order that um, we can close on the balance of this deal to use these tax credits. And if that doesn't happen, with the amount of money we've got invested in all the design drawings and, 
engineering and, and everything else, we're just we're going to have to completely reformat this pro uh, project, and it, it, it won't be able to be a senior affordable project anymore. And it may end up being a multifamily housing project of some sort because we're going to have to do something there. I mean, we've probably got over about 1.2 million into this at this point, all said and done. So I, I think the benefit to the Little Miami schools is this, is if you say to yourself, okay, I've got, I could have seniors with no kids, and there, that comes at a cost in terms of this potential pilot. On the other hand, if it is a, a, a family project, to the extent you start looking at that incremental cost, if, if that ends up being a family project, and for example, there ends up being 20 kids living there, over and above the $100,000 differential, of, or, or whatever you want to call this number at this point, it's gonna cost the schools just for 20 kids an extra $50,000 a year. But that's just the first cost, because this, this, this project, if it doesn't go forward as a senior project, will be a family project for the next 40 or 50 years. And so if you start doing the math on that, incrementally, that's, that could cost the school just 20 kids, it's gonna cost you $4 million in current dollars over a 30 year life, and if it's 40 kids, it'll be eight and a half million dollars. And so I think the, t I think the schools are much better off not having this as a family project and having it as a senior project because you don't have to, to have, I mean, you've already got problems now in terms of where you're putting people. And it seems to me that, that if this is a win-win for the schools and the township and, and the community, seniors, by trying to bring this thing to some sort of a conclusion. I also, and I've mentioned this before, is from what the township is telling me right now, they are planning on taking that money and putting it towards streets. And I, I mean, you all may know the politics of that more than I do, but if that is true, that is to your benefit as well, because if the streets are as unsafe as, as I'm hearing in these meetings or in need as much work, I would think that represents a real liability to the school corporation in terms of having your buses running over streets that need this much work. So again, only you can assess that. Your drivers are out there every day. I have no clue. I'm, I mean, I live in Indiana, what do I know? But um, nevertheless, $750,000 could fix a lot of streets if that's in fact true. So. Plus, what I'm sitting here thinking of is that the township is getting nearly as much as we're getting, and I just don't see that as um, a, a, not that it's not fair. So I'm not sure how this enterprise zone gets set up and what the percentages are, why. But they're getting seventy-five thousand to run a township, and we're getting one hundred and two thousand to run a school district. And to me, it's kind of a lopsided figure. Uh, their figure in my head should be lower. And our figure should be higher. Well, I think that's what Terry is suggesting here. Is that not correct, Terry? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the direction I was going. So if you look at the township, mm -hmm. they would get roughly 42000 if they were breaking it off the way their tax rates are set up. I understand the township will have some additional services provided with streets and different things. Um, you know, where that number is, is who knows. But they're at 25% you know, share, um, which is really doubling the 28, you know, because they would be almost doubling the 14% right. that they would normally get. Right. Um, and this is a benefit. I would agree it's benefit. I mean, it's benefit for everyone. Yeah, I think, it, I think it would benefit for everybody. Yeah, yeah Township Band. The only thing about the senior meetings, that's what the body said. That, those are more no votes for us. So while this sounds good times, about yeah. that, you know, we have to think about that piece of it too. Mm -hmm. so, so the township's all right with a multi-family facility? It's all been zoned that way. It's been zoned that yeah, way for 20 been, years. Yeah, yeah. Three years yeah. Part, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a PUD. And, 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 and you know, I, I hear what you're saying about seniors uh, not necessarily voting um, 
for schools, and, and I get that. I will tell you the feedback that I've had is I've been working on this from uh, some former trustees that are seniors that are on fixed income, is that, don't shoot me, I'm just a messenger, <laughs> is, you know what, I, I, I'm, I'm on a fixed income, and I think they are living on Social Security, and a lot of seniors have lost up until recently, if they've, uh, <clears throat> through the last downturn, they lost a lot of money. And whether or not they had still have money that they are, have been fortunate enough to get the upswing now, I don't know. But, but the point is that if somebody has real estate right now, and you're on a fixed income, and they're looking at, at schools as kind of the bad guys trying to raise their taxes, I, 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 I understand. I oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah and so to the extent you can move those people out of their homes without, and, and putting them actually in a situation that would be better for them because they're not gonna have to maintain the house and they'll have access to other services, then you've got a shot of having somebody in there that cares more about the schools than they do because they don't have the same income structure that the senior does that's living in there. And I think that's the other benefit to this. So, so what we're generally talking about is how do we split up a pie that's three hundred thousand dollars? Is that is that? Absolutely. I think that's, that's what we're looking at. I mean, that, to try to boil it down to what right. we're talking about, how do we take a three hundred thousand dollar pie and split it up to where everybody's happy? Well, or best the project. it goes back into the okay, project. The yes, that's, goes yeah. back to yeah. what happens is you take whatever is there and you split it, mm -hmm. okay. and then half of it goes back into the project. It helps to finance the project. Okay, so. Exactly. 25% of the project's easy abatement. That's just what they get all, and that's for the township. And then we're splitting a pilot. So that's well, something different. The pilot is the loop taxes. Okay, so that's what we're splitting the 50 with the with the one county. So the township is totally separate than that. Yeah, that's all, all, no, it's, it's all, all part of the pool. It's all yeah. one pool. Yeah, it's all and one And it can pool. be configured, customized, agreed upon. And, and what you see there on okay. Warren County, Warren County, right, wrong, and different, it doesn't matter. They take five percent off the top. Okay. Yep. I get it. They get just it. yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's non negotiable. Okay. Yeah, they take five percent off the top. Yeah. <coughs> but the rest is all negotiable. Okay. So you're comfortable, Terry, with putting that seventy five percent in there and saying that Yeah, I think I think it's a good place for well, district. We're at sixty eight percent right now. That's what this this uh, is saying. Am I correct? Is it you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. sixty the hundred and two thousand is sixty eight percent of the fifty percent of it. Yeah. Well and you would like to take that 68% up to 75%. And, and I just want to make sure I understand that. Right? Mm -hmm. 75%. So, so be, well, 75%, I take it back, 75%, not of the 300, but 75% of the 204. Yeah. So if you're really talking okay. about 153, we're just a little over 50% of the 300,000 of the pool amount. But so in theory, the 300,000 wasn't ours based on the millage rates. Right. So I was trying to be fair, looking with everyone. And the two two hundred four thousand would be our share of the three hundred thousand. Okay. We get sixty. Then we get the sixty eight percent of that. And I'm saying, all right, if, if there was no bid, no you know enterprise zone was just being built, we would receive roughly three hundred four thousand a year. Okay. I'm saying seventy five percent of that two hundred four would bring you down to the one fifty three. Okay. Yeah. So we have to reduce it about twenty five percent. We're getting twenty five percent at this point. Yeah. And that's, so do we present this to them? And, and well, that was going to be my next question: is if we if we do that, then we have to present it to them. And Tony brought up a good. Point. Do they have three trustees? Mike? They do now. They do now. Yeah, they appointed somebody, didn't they? Okay, they I did appoint somebody. Where, where he sits, but right, but they right. have. Well, yeah. Okay. okay. And then there's two places the money would come from. One would either come, you know, out of the remaining balance, or come out of the, the township. One mm -hmm. of the two. All right. So these these numbers, the way that you're suggesting, they they have changed a little bit, right? So we're talking the annual township pilot now becomes. Is it forty two something? Well, if it was based upon the millage rates, it would be roughly 42,000. It's 14%. So the township gets 42K. The Little Miami uh, schools pilot is 150 and some change. Well, we take a 75%. Right. Nature is 153. 153. So, and Warren County so takes 5%. There it doesn't change. It's still 7,500 bucks. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. But so the remaining, whatever's remaining at that point. So Bruce has got his calculator. So. I guess I can just ask this question. Okay. And I know Regent Street Park has been there for 20, 25 years. But the powers that to be or that be in Hamilton Township now, they're okay. With, I mean, you talked about the 
good possibility of doing a multi-family facility instead of a senior center. They're okay with that. I just, I, knowing I the, the two guys that I know, three guys that I know as well as I do, I just don't see that happen. Well, so again, I don't, I don't think that they are going to have a lot. I, I don't mean to sound cavalier about this because I'm not. But I, I think based on the zoning that was approved for that, I don't, I don't think they're, they, I don't think they can stop it. So the developer would just decide then. Well, I, I think obviously we would have to go back and change a lot of plans, and we would have to go back and change. Um, we would have to go back to the uh, the county and give up uh, some of the incentive that the county gave relative to water tap because they assess mm -hmm. that for seniors as opposed to multifamily. But well, you're talking about the first, I think, 160 units. It is 160 units. Okay, how many units would be multifamily? Would it still be 160? Yeah, because it's a combination of one and two bedroom. I will tell you, the apartment demand in Warren County right now is, is so un, un, underserved right now, it is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the numbers, it's just off the charts, and it's been because the commissioners haven't wanted it. I mean, and, and if you've gone to those commissioners' meetings, there are certain commissioners up there that are just adamant that he hates multifamily. Well, there used to be uh, township trustees that hated multifamily. Well, they were called stacks. And they weren't going to have So what's the process then? If we say we're going to go with what Terry's saying, we want you to do the 75 percent, the higher number, and you take that back to the township? I got to go back to the township. I, I honestly think Ray is going to balk at that. I'd expect it. Well, I mean, I think the township is sitting. I mean, you're, they're sitting at 75,000, and they're they're actually making 100 percent plus. Right. And they're nearly doubling on what they would have been collecting <coughs> if it was put on the books. Uh, 42 versus. 75, I mean, they're, they're making a percentage beyond the 42 that, I mean, if the if it was built and there was no abatement, they would be getting 42. Mm -hmm. And so they're they're making an additional 30 plus, $33,000 or whatever. And they're, why wouldn't they? Well, sure, yeah, I mean, you know, tell me I'm gonna get more than I, what I would get, why wouldn't I agree to that? So, uh, you know, I know they're gonna, you know, Ray will tell you they're gonna have increased services to, because if it's a, Senior community, there, you know, <coughs> but they bill ambulance runs, and they, you know, so yeah. Yeah. you know it'll cause more of a, a traffic or a drain on the resources. <coughs> That's what I was going to say. The resources traffic will be getting used. They build the emergency uh, services. Yeah, but uh, I mean they're they're winning all the way around there, where we're um, kind of sitting at taking less for a period of ten years so and before it comes on the books. So, so, so let me ask you this: as a compromise on this? If I got them to say that, what if they got the incremental difference up to the time they, they make their $50,000 or whatever the difference was that you're proposing back? So you mean we wouldn't see any escalation in our amount until they hit their minimum? Two minimums, if they hit that. And then you, you share. What's their minimum? Well, there's a 75. So, so, so if they take the first cut on this and you get, you go from the, uh, the 102 to you said 150, 150 right. yeah. then they, anything over that, they get until they get their the 75. And then, and then, then you split. Right. That'd be, that'd be then we split that would be better after, than after they reach their, yeah. their 75, then, 115. 115. then it splits 50-50. Right. Right. So. I, I can live with I can that. Live with that. that. No, I, I don't think it's too bad of a deal. I'm just looking out for the district. That's right. No, no, no. Yeah. What do you think about yeah. that particular? Yeah. Once you think get to that 75, and you and I are both, well, not me personally, but you personally, but in the district are the two that have the most skin in the game right. by far. There's uh, no question about that. There's no question. And it's trying to look out for the best interest of the district. No, and I think it's, I think it's uh, what we've got thus far, but I mean, are you okay with that at the increments? In other words, 50-50 split after the After, yeah, one, well, not 50-50 split until they reach their, yeah, once they reach their 75, then it will be a 50-50 split. So where do you get the 75? Then we get the 150 first. But where does that extra money come from? Was it increments? It's, it's, it's going to be the, essentially the payments coming in from the, yeah. instead of the taxes being paid, they're making payments to different subdivisions right. between us and townships. So if the value's up, the millage rates will just produce 
more, more taxes, they produce exactly. more, they produce more dollars. And then so there's no chance we're going to collect less than 153. Yeah. No, you still have the floor. Okay. You still have okay. the floor. Okay. 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 I think that's got a shot because at least he's, I mean, he, he's still got an upside on this because yes. mm -hmm. undoubtedly there, there will be some adjustment to this. So where this ends up right. leaving him exactly is, mm -hmm. it'll be somewhere in the middle. And he stands to gain more. And he stands to gain right. more. Yeah. yeah, he stands to gain more. Right. He gets a little bit. He's going to get his minimum. Plus, mm -hmm. yeah, he'll, you know, if it comes back higher. So now the next question is that these things have to be passed by year end. Am I correct on that? So here's, I'm, I'm gonna go back to him tonight, Dave Wallace, okay. and share with him where this is at. And I think he will uh, uh, try to call a meeting again this week if he can. I don't know if he can legitimately do that, it may have to be Monday. But, oh, is that all he needs is 24? So he can do it Friday. Yeah. I think what Martin really wants to do, uh, because he's got all the attorneys coming in tomorrow for other meetings uh, from Columbus for um, uh, Warren County Economic Development stuff with the Port Authority, he would really like to get some sort of an email from you all saying that, that this is acceptable and that, that you know if, if, if he pursues this from his standpoint that, that he believes that Unless something unforeseen happens, that you all will approve it ultimately in your own. <coughs> and he will turn the attorneys loose on it tomorrow. I think there would have to be some kind of a general resolution going mm -hmm. on for you to formally approve it. But I mm -hmm. could, so could we not send an email. MOU yeah. over, yeah, at least electronically, to say, you know, and maybe we, I don't know if we could get Bill to do that or if Terry, if you could put the members together to do that. I would never, we probably need Bill to approve yeah. it, or at least somebody's mind. Well, I was just yeah. going to say, if you put the numbers together, shoot it to Bill, and then they can shoot yeah. from Bill to you, and then that way it's, you know, yeah. it's got some He just needs it by tomorrow afternoon. And, and, and really, this could just be a real... <laughs> I've got the numbers. It's going to Bill. Good luck with getting Bill. I sent the numbers. He's a great attorney. He just, he's, he's well, there's more than one. There's more than one in there. You know what? Um, Gary, Gary said a lot of numbers. Oh, that's right. Gary does a lot with board of division when you do it. And stuff and revisions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But the but resolution the itself, we would want to come about. He's not Russell. from Bill. Yeah, we have uh, yeah. Frank, yeah. Frank, yeah. Frank, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. General financial yeah. detail of the, uh, of the uh, proposed yeah. agreement. So I'm assuming we'll be easy enough to. But we we do need. Uh, he's a yeah, he's a county. And and as we move through that, it would probably be good if we knew if the township was on board with that because it wouldn't be make any sense for us to incur the legal expense no, to right. have our no. folks go through and do right. all of that yeah, and they would have to then not have it be <coughs> but we could shoot the email yeah. uh, uh, electronically to say yes you know yeah. that, that, that under understanding terms, yeah under these yeah. terms we're in a, uh, you know we're going to straw vote we're not going to uh, mm -hmm. so we could do that and then once the township said yep we're good with it then we could do a resolution mm -hmm. now bruce would uh, that email basically an intent to move forward and, and agree to this be substantial enough for you if the township agreed to this that we could get then get after um, the county gets everything framed up with the enterprise and that then that resolution could be passed yeah. probably I mean we're coming up on the end of the year that's yeah. probably going to not happen until the first of the year do you think so they're trying to get the the Commissioners to approve this at their last meeting of the year, which is between Christmas and New Year's. We'll find out tomorrow if that's mm -hmm. going to be real or not. Sure. So I don't know if, if that's something, and, and, and he and Martin's going to let us know tomorrow how quick they can um, uh, get all these documents pulled together. And so I don't want to start a fire drill until sure. we hear what they say right. and until we hear what, what sure. the, the trustees say. But just so I'm clear, what we're saying is on this first 300,000, the town, the uh, the school district gets 
What's the number again? 153. 153. 153. 153. The county gets their 7,500. Mm -hmm. And uh, the balance of that, that um, the township gets is, what's the number again? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? 47? So from, they get to go from the, anything over that, they get to go from 42,000 to 75,000. Yeah. And then and it's split. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's 50. It's split 50 yeah. they, get, they get the first, they get the and first bite, they get the first bite of anything. Yeah. And any right. increase in value. Yeah, yeah the first 33,000 yeah, is, is theirs. Is theirs. Yeah. Right. And <coughs> the other thing that they get out of this is if, if, there is, if it does go over the that other thirty three thousand, that's right. They get to they get split that fifty fifty with us. Instead of sixty eight twenty five. Yeah. Instead of sixty eight twenty five. Right. That's right. So I mean that's yeah. that's an it's also an incentive to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, and, yeah. Yeah. And I and I I think it I think it's fair. I think it's fair it's on both sides of the stand on both both sides of the coin. More on the back. Yeah, right. And it also, they, 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 they also take a little bit less now, okay. and they stand to gain more well, as, as we go from that zero to so. ten years. They stand to gain mm -hmm. they more so than we do. Uh, mm -hmm. But we'll right, we have a good minimum floor. Yeah, right. Yeah. Floor. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 I think that yeah, I think, I think it's very fair. I think it's good. Does uh, Jim Hunter have all the input on this, or do you need to get the office? I have I I have not met with Jim. This has all been through Ray. And then through Dan Wallace, and and I think after all this came down, Ray was pretty frustrated with me. Ray, this is step right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. me, me, me. we've <laughs> all been in your seat. <laughs> 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 he loves us. So I share your. Uh, <laughs> we've all been in that chair. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, wait, dinner went into that that way. Well, I haven't had that fiddly since. <laughs> So the next step is we will get the electronic email to you by tomorrow afternoon. Terry, you can work on that. Am I correct? And uh, just make sure everybody's copied so we all see everything. And then um, from that, we'll wait to hear from you or the township. Okay. And preferably you. That way, you know, and, uh, and the reason I say that is, well, that way we don't have, there's only two people. There's only two people. You start putting more people in the pot, everything starts getting, you know. Well, yeah, but what about this? You know, I don't feel that. Well, if, if, if you could shoot an email over to Martin, I will call Dave when I leave here and see uh, where he's at with this, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. And right. Right. Is that a the CC was working on? Yeah. Is it versus you? That. Is that, are you comfortable yeah. with that? Yeah, clears it up. Okay. Are you all comfortable? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very time. much. Be safe. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.
meeting would you like the resolution? Because you'll have to pass a resolution. I don't know. I don't know when that will be. We'll have to wait and see what, what the township moves yeah, on. sounds like if everything gets greased, the county is going to act so close to the end of the year. 27th is when he's supposed to. He's on the phone with Dave Walsh right now. You may yeah, know. Yeah. I'll be back at the township. <laughs> yeah, he's on the phone with there. I would be. Listen, the township's got more than you do. I think that's a great, a great suggestion. Do you think you'd want a special meeting, or would you prefer to do it at the organizational? Is that too late? I think we have to wait and see what they're going to do. When's our organization? See, the problem is January Fifth Third. Fifth, Fifth Third is trying to hold his feet to the fire to the end of January one day, <coughs> and they want to renegotiate the bond because bonds, like he was talking about, are dropping now. So they could pick up sixteen percent. So you know they're going to want to do that. So he's doing his best to get it. You know, he's got a lot uh, at stake now between now and the end of the year. So, yeah. Got some money on well, so, so I don't know when that would be, but so I just want to make sure that when we do that, that we can make a hoo ha over that. That's our regular so that, you know. But then the 20th of July, the police are with you, like, to go on camera and do an interview? No, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. If we do if we do a camera so thing, I would like to see that we'll be the Bobby the and Tony. What? You're the board president. I understand that, but it would be, you know, it would be, you know, we could make a, because they're going to be, Looking forward this year. So. Why did you say that? Because you dress like an elephant. And you <laughs> <laughs> keep your keep, yeah, keep your face away from the camera. Don't don't mouth it. The camera's over here. Yeah. <laughs> don't mouth it that way. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> You know, I think that's. I, I think it's a very. I think it's a win-win. I really do. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Too. I think it was a, a, a very. And, uh, we did good, Tony. <laughs> you guys did excellent. <laughs> yep. We'll see if they go for it, and uh, uh, we'll see. Oh, we'll see I would. I would have been your seat. I would. Yep, yeah, I would too. I don't know unless you're really greedy. Well, some of them are. So, yeah. We're on. To was that on tape? Yes. Sorry, the limit doesn't end unless you pay it. You've got to keep it. I don't up. care. At this point in my, my life, I'm going to say what new, I feel who like. Who is the new trustee? I can't yet. think of his name. I met his, I met his, well, sit behind his wife. And a young guy. He owns a, his own he's air conditioning. He's in the air conditioning. He lived in Mason for a while. There's a, so there's a one that's going to run. Is he the guy that ran? Yeah, there was two. Oh, I mean, he has to run. At the end of next year, oh, he did not run, so it's okay. It's not the same guy. Nobody that ran was even put in an application. But I, know. I, know. I met the, the wife of a, a guy that's going to run, and it's not the one that was appointed. And the staff like to be really good. All right, uh, let's move on to item B here. And item B, Terry, you've given us some sheets here. Maybe you walk us through these oh. and tell us what we're doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we're going to put together there's several sheets, and actually, the last sheet in the packet that you have is actually our forecast that we submitted back in October. Right. Um, but what I did is I tried to take a streamlined approach, make it a little easier to look at. So then we talked about the board meeting of looking at you know, 4%, 5%, I actually included a 5.5% since we discussed at the BAC, mm -hmm. and also 6%. I did not put a 7 because that's roughly where the forecast is. Where we are now. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what I did is I put revenue, this is coming right off of the five-year forecast. I put in the revenue and then I put the total expenditures in. And then what I did is you can see the bottom row, each page, which is bolded, is essentially your fund balance, your any fund balance at the end of each of those fiscal years. And this gives us an idea and indication of how, at these different spending levels each year, what you, you know, plan on budgeting. Obviously, this is all, you know, very subject to change because we're looking, you know, off into the future. But just based on everything we know at this point, this is going to give you different fund balances at different, different expenditure levels for your budget. Like I said, you look at four, five, you have five and a half, and, and six, and you can see, that I think one of the things you probably want to concentrate on, and I know I would, is you want to look at each individual year, but you really want to look at, you know, how does it affect your five when you look out in the future, in fiscal year 2021. And you can see how the different levels each year, you know, based on what your budget is, whether it's, like I said, four, five, six percent, you can see how it affects your fund balance, because obviously as your, your budget is increased, obviously your fund balance is going to be reduced because of our revenue, and then, you know, all school districts are very stagnant. Um, roughly one percent or so growth. Some of you have a little better training and school construction things, but um, you know, relatively it's pretty pretty flat. Like um, I tried to I tried to break it out between yeah, the columns yeah. so you could see it. It's a little easier. And plus, as you look at the last sheet, the five-year forecast, I know the numbers are so small, it's it's getting hard for me to read myself. So, 
Um, but but I just want to simplify it a little bit. So you the dollars, and, and, and you can you know take a look and let you me know if you have any questions or anything. But like I said, just gives you an idea of where we'd be at different different budget levels and where we'd end up in five years, based on you know the assumptions that are made with you know with our current forecast. Um, you can see like at four percent roughly. You guys have seen the four percent in year five. You have a twenty five million dollar fund balance if you're able to attain that each each year. Um, if you go to the other end, you know when you're looking at six percent, you're looking at a sixteen million dollar fund balance. Now something I want to let you know in here, this is much like our, our forecast. Um, steps are included in this, but there's, you know, there, there has, obviously there's no base increases or anything included mm -hmm. in this after the current fiscal year we're in. Um, the other items that are included in this are uh, every other assumption that we had you know, based on our October forecast. And then it just comes down to, all right, we're using fiscal year 17 that we're currently in as our base year, and we're looking at, all right, what's 4% of the year after that, what's 5% of the year after that, and that's how it flows out each year. Right. 